Well, bad heavens, you know what time it is, don't you? That's right, later than you think. Uh, it, it's also time for the Mask Fan Attic, where we look for interesting old Halloween masks. Welcome back to the attic, fellow mask fanatics. Uh, I keep hoping you'll come and clean this mess up for me one of these days, but um, so far you haven't. Well, maybe if I show you enough masks, eventually it'll... it'll Soften your heart to the extent that you'll want to come and help clean this attic up. Um, today's mask is, is a fairly rare one from Don Post Studios. It's this old geezer. No, not this old geezer. This old geezer called simply Vladimir. That's right, Vladimir. Now, Vladimir was sculpted by uh, one of... Um, uh, Post's best known and loved and most successful and most talented uh, mask artist Rob Tharp in uh, 2007, but I don't think uh, old Vladimir made it into a Don Post catalog and officially Went into full production until around the 2009 season So he was in he was in production for a little while there like through 2009 and 10 8 9 10 that that period and then uh, that was it. So there aren't a ton of these around. Uh, as you can see, old Vladimir is just a creepy old man who sort of looks like he'd be telling you to get off his lawn. Kind of what he looks like to me anyway. Uh, I'm told Rob Tharp based this expression on pictures of himself. He, uh, you know, took selfies where he was going arr, arr, and trying to make scary, ugly, grimacing faces to get a good idea of uh, how to make a creepy old man uh, expression on a creepy old man mask and kind of use pictures of himself for this. Now, uh, Vladimir, I don't know why he's called Vladimir. I guess uh, Don Post Jr. himself came up with that name. He doesn't really look like my idea of a Vladimir, but maybe that's just me. To me, when I hear the name Vladimir, I think of uh, somebody more like Dracula or, you know, Vlad Tepish, Vlad the Impaler. But I don't know. Maybe when you hear Vladimir, you think of Vladimir Putin of Russia. I don't know. Uh, but but um, maybe maybe Mr. Post felt like Vladimir would be a more popular name for a mask than uh, Old Man Grumpus, which is probably what I would have called it. Now, as you can see, Old Vladimir here has uh, a nice neck bib in the front, but he's kind of short in the back. He's uh, sort of an angle, cut at sort of an angle. The latex stops here, and then he has the bib in the front. Some nice white hair on there. Now, I did cheat just a little bit with this one. I have cheated a little because the glue that was used to put this row of hair across the back, around the back of the head, has uh, yellowed, uh, well, worse than yellowed, has browned, I should say, has turned brown on most copies. So I put a little white paint along that line. I did cheat. And if you have a Vladimir, or if you buy one somewhere online, uh, I suggest that you do the same. You just apply a little white paint along that line, and you're, you're good to go. Now the hair on the top, this little tuft here, can you see that? That's actually punched in. That's inserted, rooted hair, right there, inserted into the rubber. So that you're not going to have that problem there, but you're going to have the problem of the glue going brown on the hairline around the back and possibly on the eyebrows. I forget now if I added any white paint to the eyebrows or not. I may have. I don't remember. Like, like Vladimir, I'm old and cranky, so I may have done, but um, there he is. As I say, just in production for rather a short time, and as far as I know, not based on any particular uh, character. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, production masks are designed to sort of remind people of something or other, or they're maybe inspired by a particular actor or a particular movie or a particular character from a story or something. I don't think this one is supposed to remind you of any particular. Uh, person. It's just kind of an all-purpose creepy old man mask that would make it a great haunted house choice. These sold for around forty to forty-five dollars, which is not bad considering it's a it's a decent quality Don Post mask with hair. And one thing I like about old Vladimir, all the copies I've seen of it were very nicely painted, like this one. Uh, you see, he's got some veins, got some blue veins going on. He's got a lot of freckles and little brown dots and liver spots and so forth. He's got sort of a red uh, nose. Maybe he's been drinking. Maybe he's been outdoors on an Ohio night and he's cold and his uh, nose is sort of red. He's got a little red and kind of bluish around the eyes. 
uh, but very well painted, I think. I really like the paint job on this one. It reminds me of the glory days of Don Post Studios. It kind of looks like uh, something that they would have come out with back in the um, late 70s or early 80s, maybe. Kind of, definitely 80s, certainly from the 1980s, but actually didn't come along until much later, as I have previously divulged. But anyway, that's your mask pick for this week. If you like creepy old men, well, obviously you do, or you wouldn't watch The Mask Fanatic every week. But if you like creepy old man masks, go look online and see if you can find yourself a Vladimir to scare the kids off your lawn at Halloween. And until next time, remember... <laughs>